Hey everyone, I'm super excited to bring you Dark Souls 3. Um, if you're really into Dark Souls, and but from like a observer perspective and not so much a playing perspective, you've probably already seen a lot of it. A lot of content creators and like streamers and stuff got it a bit early um, through whatever reason. Some people I know you were able to buy like the Japanese version on Xbox, but it had an English translation. Other people I'm pretty sure just were able like from software or whoever just gave it to them. Like here, promoter game early, you know, like companies do with games and there's no big deal. Um, I was not able to do that, obviously. Uh, so I had to wait to launch. It literally just launched. I would have loved to do a video launch day, which would be yesterday of recording this, but the way the time it came out was didn't really work. So we're doing this, but it's no big deal. I'm super excited to play this. I absolutely love Dark Souls 2. I love Dark Souls 1, but I was trash at it, but that was also a while ago. And I never really played Demon Souls. Um, I do hear that this game is very different from Dark Souls 2, in the sense where Dark Souls 2 was made by a pretty different team than Dark Souls 1 is, and I think Dark Souls 3 is going more back towards Dark Souls 1, so we'll see how that goes, but I mean, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a fun experience. Um, I don't want to hit new game yet, just because I know there's gonna be, like, a big intro cutscene that I haven't seen, and I don't want to talk through it, so I want to get this spiel done first. Um, uh, the way I'm gonna do recording for this, um, is going to be, I'm gonna have this character, and we're gonna make him, him or her right now, you know, we'll see what happens there. Um, we're gonna have this character and I'm gonna use it for a recording and I'm gonna play on my own on a separate character and what that'll let me do is it'll allow me to know what I'm doing ahead of time so I'm not spending half hour 45 minute episodes walking around uh, someplace I don't know where it is um, so it gives you kind of the best viewing option while making it still that I could play as much as I want um, so I think with all that said let's hop in and see what we can do Oh, but just brightness. I already did that. Messed with all the settings. Not all of them. Um, I think this is all fine. I don't know. Some of these settings, I don't know what to do. Like, there might be some graphic stuff I have to change. Yes, indeed. That's far louder than I expected. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. You're all burned. Oh, and dying. Oh, you're dead. GG. Not even moving. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed. 
opposite undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash seeketh embers. Is that it? Let's find out. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that was really loud for me. Hopefully it's not too loud either. It'll be quieter than I think it is, or I'll just quiet it down for you guys. But that was really loud for me. Um, so we are in character creation now. So now I come into the... Oops, punch the mic. I'm going to just tie my name in, make it easier. Um, now we come to the interesting character creation of do I do like a normal person... Or do I go a la Monster Factory and make a nightmare? Um, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, Monster Factory is a web series that uh, it's on the Polygon channel, I think, on YouTube. And it's these, it's it's just so funny. Just like literally, just Google or if YouTube search Monster Factory, if for some of the funniest YouTube videos I've seen in a long time, uh, I recommend checking that out a lot. Assuming you like funny videos of terrifying monster creatures in your favorite games. All right, so let's start. Um, uh, okay, we'll start, trying. Uh, we'll start with a dude for now. Age, young, matured age. Can we get naked first? I want to be able to see myself. There we go. No, don't stop that. Class, here we go. Deprived. We're naked. Okay. Mature. Ew. No, we're going to be young. We're going to be young and m murdering. Okay, so we'll do class last because that's just stat stuff. Burial gift. Oh, God. We'll look at that in a second, too. So we get to do appearance stuff here. We can go through face presets. We've got the commoner. We've got a northern warrior. An Astora nor oh, noble. Words. Dragon Academy student. That just sounds awesome. Karim novice. Are your eyes closed? Oh no, your forehead just got really long. So I couldn't see your eyes anymore. Katarina. The Katar Katar yeah, Katarina Merrymaker, I think is how you'd say that. Serpentine Traveler, Great Swamp Outcast. Okay, your eyeballs don't exist. You have like, zero eyeballs. God, you don't even need to make a monster in this game. You just get presets for it. Launder Shadow of Death. And, oh, God. Oh, my eyes. Ow. Uh, the Features of Old Gods as far as... Um, let's see. Which one... Which one am I liking? Honestly, I feel like this is a great starting point here. The real feel... Erythelian or whatever it is. Build, we get standard, slim, very slim, burly, very burly. Burly upper body, burly lower body, small head, large head. We're going to do very burly. We're just going to be big as possible. Alright, then we get appearance. What is this? Okay, we get... Oh, okay, so we get to go into more details here. Age, voice, physique, mus musculature. How many muscles can we put on one person? Let's see. Is there like a way to do this faster? There we go. Alright, bumper, we're looking at we're gonna head details. We're gonna have a real tiny head. Oh what? I wanna have a completely tiny head. Oh no, the monster factory boy is gonna have a problem with this. Middle sliders. So I guess I gotta go big on everything. Or small on everything. I can't like Why is the head just red constantly? What does that even mean? No, actually, we're going to try and go small with this. See, see how small of a person we can make, but also still be as muscly as possible. Okay. Very tiny. Honestly, that's not as tiny as I want it to be. But we'll... Okay, so red just meant we changed it. Was that what we just did? Okay. Uh, face details, features, I'm going to go for as form emphasis, I don't even know what that means, but his face is getting all scrunched up and I'm liking it, oh this is, this right here, this is a profile that I can enjoy, let's talk about that, okay, good face shape, there are so many settings here, holy crap, okay, 
And then it's like, I assume similar faces like the random button? Yeah. We could cycle through just similar faces, just like slight adjustments for that. So that's fun. Um, let's see, face shape. This is just this is just a lot to work with here. This is gonna be a long video, by the way, because it's gonna be character creation, and then I actually want to play some of the game for you guys too. Um, no size, narrow or wide. I mean, I'm liking the narrow. Oh, okay. I think I just. Uh, what do we got? What do we do wide? Okay, so this is not narrow wide. This is tall or long. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, that's good. I'm liking the narrow, though. I'm liking the scrunch face. Nose to forehead ratio. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm, he's giving, We're giving himself a shelf to, to pr protect his eyeballs from the rain. Ugh, I gotta go... I, I think I'm gonna go forehead, though, or whatever. Yeah, forehead. Face protrusion. Okay, so we gotta go... We get kind of a more normal face if we go concave, and that's not what we're going for, so let's go convex. Get us that sick jawline there. Uh, vertical face spacing. I don't know what that means. We'll find out. Okay, so... Get that nose point up. Slant. More nose, nose point. All the nose, po noise, nose point. Jeez. Hor horizontal facial? Is that what that says? There we go. Get as narrow as we possibly can. His face is almost two-dimensional, and I love it. All right. Accepted. Forehead globella. I don't even know what that means. Uh, forehead slight. No, no, no. We want deep. We want. We want to get. We want to see if we can get those above the eyeball things. I guess like the eyebrows to down to the mouth. Let's see if we can get that done. Forehead protrusion. <laughs> no, that's not what we want. We want to go. We want to go outward. Convex. Nose bridge height. What does that do? Uh, not a whole ton, but low is definitely more in the correct direction. Uh, do we want convex or concave? What does this do? Oh, that looks like it's bringing those eyebrows down more. Yep, done and done. Bridge protrusion two. Okay, so that looks like it may go out more. So we definitely want some convex for that one. And nose bridge width is that? Oh nope, okay. But it looks like that's the direction we want to go. Yeah, definitely want to go wide on that one. We're almost down there. We got the eyebrows almost to the nostrils. We're making some progress here. Brow ridge. There are so many freaking options here. Brow ridge height. I don't know. Is that really doing anything? I'm not really seeing too much of a difference with that setting. This is a nightmare. Look. <laughs> oh, I love From Software. All right. We'll just go with high, I guess. I don't know. I don't really see a difference here. Inner brow ridge. Oh, nope. Definitely not that. We definitely want low. An outer brow ridge. Probably low. Yep. Oof. Let's set this to low then, too, because I figure it can't hurt. Oh, wait, no. Is it... Oh, okay. It's, setting it... it's getting it wider. Okay. There we go. Almost, almost down there. Eyes, eyes position... Uh, we're gonna go with up. Just get get those things hidden out of sight. Don't want anyone seeing those. Eye size small. Again, hiding. The, oh wait, no, because now that's affecting the eyebrows. So let's go large. Get those eyebrows out a little bit more. Oh man, this is just amazing. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> okay, uh, eye spacing probably wide. I don't know. Both are pretty good. I'm going to go with narrow. Kind of keep that face in itself. Nose ridge, because we need more nose options. Uh, depth. I'm just like, just jet out of your face. No, no, no. we got to keep going out. Nose ridge length. To go long or short? Probably long. We don't want to go too, too small in the nose. Nose position, just down. Or we could go up to make it so the eyebrows are closer. 
to the nostrils, but that defeats the point. We'll go down. Nose tip high. All right, we got to go high on that one. Nose protrusion. Just got to go out there more, make that nose as big as possible. I want to be able to sail a boat with this nose. Nose height. Jesus. It's like it's like someone put a fake nose on top of his regular nose right now. In addition to squishing him in some sort of trash compactor. And no slant. Sure, why not? Done. Next setting, nostrils. Nostril slant. Ah, here we go. Here's how we get all hoity-toity with it. Nostril size. Oh, now we're making an arrowhead with our nose. Nostril width. We definitely want... We don't want more width. There you go. It's like, it's like caving in on itself. Can we zoom in on that? You seeing that right there? It's... <laughs> I could pierce that with a toothpick and he wouldn't have a problem. Nasal size. Small. <laughs> this is great. Cheeks. Cheekbone height. Uh, low maybe? I don't know if there's a way that I really like to tell. Nope, it looks like it's making those eyebrows go up a little bit, so nope, we're going low. Cheekbone depth, slight. Oh, cheekbone deep. There we go. We're getting that whole face to cave in on itself now. Right? Yep, getting that. Cheekbone width. Getting that narrow. Concave would probably make most sense. Yep. In on itself. And thin cheeks. We want no depth to this face. We want to make it as two-dimensional as possible. <laughs> okay. Lips. Let's look at these bad boys. Uh, we can't, actually. They're gone. Lips. Purse or open. I think we'll go with purse because it makes the no nose a little bit more hoity-toity. Mouth expression. Is he happy or is he sad? He's probably sad. Yep, definitely sad. Definitely sad that he looks like this. Lip fullness. Small or large? We'll probably go small. Yep. Alright, lip size. Going to that small root to get as little as possible. Lip protrusion, concave. Yep, it's going in on itself. And lip thickness, once again, thin. Oh no, hold on. There you go. Thick on this one. I don't know why that one went different. <laughs> I like how you can still sort of see his eyes blink, like his eyelashes are sticking through his forehead eyebrows. Mouth, uh, mouth protrusion. Alright, we'll see what convex does, but I doubt that's what we want, yeah. Concave, mouth slant is max up. Let's see what down does. It looks like it literally changed nothing. So we're going to leave it as is. Occlusion? I don't know what that is. Now we're going to go with up because it makes him more terrifying. Mouth position. Down or up. Once again, up. Mouth width. Narrow, definitely. And mouth chin distance. Short or long. Uh... I think I'm going with long. Let's go with the big jaw on this guy. Chin. Chin tip position. Front. Chin length long. Chin protrusion large. I don't see most of these things actually changing anything. Let's back up a little bit maybe. Chin depth deep. Chin size large. Chin height is high. Oh, no, 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 no. We want that one to be low. Chin width wide, I think. Let's check that out from the front, though. Now, we definitely want to go narrow with the whole two-dimensional face. Alright. Actually, yeah, never mind. Let's go small, because we're trying to, keep a, trying to keep a flat face here. These things don't really seem to be doing anything, though. And there we go, okay. And jaw seems to be our last one. Jaw protrusion. There we go, large, make it longer. Make it narrow as all heck. Lower jaw is 
low, I guess. Uh, not too big a difference, but we'll go with low. And jaw contour. Hmm. Now we're going to go with thick, I think. Nope, nope, thin. Thin it is, as usual. Alright, that was so that was just face. That was just his face. Um, let's go into hair. What do we got for hair? I don't want color. I want hair. There we go. What absolutely ridiculous hairstyles do we have? Are there any, like, actually ridiculous ones? I mean, you know, we got the female ones on dudes, but that's not that ridiculous, honestly. I want, like, a hardcore afro or something. That one's kind of ridiculous. Uh, we got a ponytail. Oh, that one's always a, that one's always a classic there. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. Go with this one. Whoopsie, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Hair color. What color do we want? Oh, we can make the color ourselves. What color do we want? Hmm. That's a good question. Let's just kind of mess with this a bit. Let's see what we can get. Nice deep purple. No, don't want that much. No, that's too boring. No, that's too green. Let's see, what if we just max it out? No, that's just white. That's boring. Go more of a red. That looks like a decent hair color. Ah, damn it. I forgot that that's how that worked. Alright. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's pretty close. Brow. I, um... Yeah, so let's see what kind of brow we want. Oh, we get a brow. Oh, we can get a brow that goes across our nose. Yes, please. Oh, look at it. It goes in the hole that's in my face. Done already. Uh, we'll do. I think we could change all the colors in the top option, so we'll fix that once we get there. I just want to know what a beard looks like on this god tier face. Thank you. Ugh. Do we want a beard? No, this man's too. Oh, actually. Hmm. Because I was going to say he's too afraid to shave, but then, like, but that means he would have a beard. Oh, you can even do little, little, little baby mustaches. This is so good. This is just. This is too good. No beard, beard, no beard. I think no beard. I think I think no beard really brings out his terrifying face. Um, eyelashes. Um, if we go long enough, can we get them to go through his eyebrows? No. Nope. Yeah, a little bit, I think. So we'll go with long, and then eyelash color will leave, and then yeah. So we'll. There we go. Now all the facial hair is the same color. Or all the hair is the same color. We got pupils. I'm not even going to bother. I can barely see them, honestly. Uh, can I do something terrifying? Yeah, pretty much. You can do that. That's pretty terrifying. And we'll go with that one. There you go. Okay. Cosmetics. Tone around eyes. Eye size. Eye, okay. What does... Can I actually change my lipstick and, like, will it change on my character? No, I don't think... Well, actually, it does a little bit. Bright red. There you go. A little, just tiny, tiny splash of color there on the lips. Once again, eyeshadow. I don't know if it's actually going to make a difference. You know, with the whole it covering the eyebrows. We'll go with dark. Maybe we can make a blend into the eyebrows a little bit. Eyeliner, though. That's on the bottom, or is that... I don't know what makeup is. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it makes the eyes a little darker. So we'll go with that. Eyelid color. With pale, eyelid brightness, dark of course. I'm gonna dark. Oh god. Oh god. You can just do that. Yeah. Ugh. Now I'm gonna go with light. We're gonna make make sure he's white as possible. And light. Okay. And then tattoos. I don't, do we want tattoos? Are there any tattoos that would fit this nightmare creature? Hmm. No. I'm not not really feeling any of these tattoos. Honestly. 
I think any tattoo artist that ever met this man would be too terrified to touch him. So we're gonna we're gonna no tattoos on this one. Uh, physique, we already did that. Okay. So here's our nightmare creature, from what I could tell. We're definitely gonna save this to favorites because I want to be able to play this always and forever. Uh, all right. What was that? That was a. That's a 30-minute character creation video. Okay, so this is going to be a long video. Uh, class. Let's go with class. Are there any new? Herald's new, at least in title. Um, it's mercenary. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's kind of like the bandit from 2. we got knight, mercenary, warrior. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Oh, so it's kind of like, it looks like it's a Viking theme, maybe? No, I mean, that's just a knight. And then, like, this guy's kind of Viking-looking, but that's not... Right, that's not inherent. Thief. Assassin. What's the difference between a thief and assassin? I mean, I know, like, actually, but, like... Okay, so they use spells in addition to their... Uh... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That might be a class I play on my own. I don't know. I'm probably going to play it safe with this character here. Um, so that I don't get screwed over really hard. And probably something like Warrior or Knight. Um... Yeah, we'll probably go Warrior. I'm liking the look of that. Warrior and then Burial Gift. So we've got the Ring of Life, which raises the maximum HP. Eh. Divine Blessing. Warm Blessed Holy Water fully restores HP and current ailments. Hidden Blessing. Fully restores FP. Don't even know what that is. Is that like a magic thing? Black Fire Bomb. Fire gem. Material used to upgrade to fire weapons. More appropriate for a warrior than pretty trinkets. Alright. Maybe that's fitting for me then, as I am a warrior. Sovereignless soul. See, it's even the sovereign. I do feel it's kind of kind of Viking E in theme, but we'll see. Uh, the sovereignless soul of one who slept beside you used to acquire many souls. Okay, so it's a soul item, it's a money item. Uh, rusted gold coin. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Cracked. Okay, that's the item. Perhaps an offering piece can be used to blend into environment, but only once. Alright, I think we're going with the fire gem, honestly. I'm sure there's some secret thing that if you have this item and you go here, it, you know, you get this early item. Like it's been in the other Dark Souls games. But I don't know what it is. And the fire gem gives me potential for fire weapons early on. Um, which might be good or bad, I don't know, we'll find out. So we're going to stick with the fire gem. And I think that will be our character. Yep, we are done. Finalized creation, and here we go. See, seems we've already spent half an hour into the game. <laughs> we'll see what like the kind of like the tutorial area is like, and then if it's not, and then depending on that, we'll probably end the video afterwards. Just because I don't know if we want to do a whole hour of a full hour video because that's kind of long. But we'll see. Got another spooky cutscene where I come out of the ground. Maybe. Oh, here I am, I think. Yep, there's my helmet. I think. Again, it's hard to tell. It would have been easy if I was deprived. I would know. Okay, yep, here we are. The Cemetery of Ash. Okay, how's it looking? Okay. So the frames aren't too great. They're not bad, but they're not... I'm going to have to lower some settings. Oh, is that some purple stuff? All right, let's look at these. Right to control camera. Okay, so these are tutorials. So yes, I can control my camera with the right stick. Um, can I change options real quick? System. Whoopsie. I know this isn't the most exciting thing, but... Uh, I want to see... Yeah, I'm going to look into this later. Because I'm sure it's... By now, someone has like, here's how to optimize Dark Souls 3 options. So I'll just look it up later. Um, we'll deal with this. Hopefully it's not too bad. It looks to be like, we're getting like 50 frames instead of 60. So it's not that brutal by any means. Did I skip over one? Nope, okay. Read message. Right bumper is a regular attack. Whap. Okay, let's look, let's, right, let's look, at, our, let's look at our screen real quick. And kind of gather our information. Top left, we've got our health. I assume our mana and then our stamina. And I assume attacks still use stamina. Yep. Uh, at the bottom left here, we got our shield. Uh, on, on the left, our right is our main weapon. And then our bottom is our Estus Flax, which we used uh, to heal. 
And then bottom right is our soul count. Read message. Right trigger is a strong attack. Wabam! That's got a beefy. Oh, we got a bad guy to kill. Uh, I don't know what that's telling me to do. I think that's telling me to click on the right stick. Yep, okay. Is he gonna come at me or do I get a... Okay. Remessage. B to back step. L and B. So that lets me hop backwards. This lets me roll around. Which way do we go now? Do we go to the, down this way with more tutor the tutorial message? Or do we get this item over here? The answer is the item. Ash and Estes Flask. I don't even know what that means. Read message. Left bumper to guard. This is probably going to where we learn sneak attacks, right? This tutorial zone seems pretty big, honestly. Behind an enemy, right bumper to critical hit. We're going to see if I can pull this off. I've been notoriously bad at this. No, we got it. Okay. Not that we need to do anywhere near that much damage, but, you know, it's always fun to do. Okay. Now we're going to go back this way. Oh, someone shooting at me? Oh yeah, you're totally shooting at me. Eat it, jerkwad. X to use item, okay. So that's like if I took a hit. Oh, like that. Took a hit. Bam. Okay, so that was uh, initiate of two enemies. This message just says to turn back, and then my game lagged a bit there, so I'm scared. But I, I'm i scared, but I'm not too scared to not go that way. Okay. There is a blood pool here, which means someone died. So we can touch it and see how they died. They rolled. And then they just died. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with that. We don't want to deal with that big crystal thing right now. But, what the heck. Alright, so first I'm going to finish the rest of the tutorial. We're going to try and come back and see if we can deal with it. Because um, I don't want to... I mean, I'm totally fine with dying in the first episode. Actually, honestly, I'm, I had a plan for like a funny intro to the video. But uh, this took way longer than I expected. So I'm not really going to have time to do it. It was going to be... Uh, the, the, the mess... The idea was that I was going to do a no-death run and then just die the first second I could. But uh, it took us way longer to get in than I thought it would. So I don't want to spend too much time on that. Okay. So we got that way to go up there. Let's see what's over here. Uh, left trigger to parry. Oh, I'm so bad at these. Yep. Yep, I'm really bad at that. What do we got here? Left and right bumper to kick. Okay, there we go. This is real bright and stuff. I noticed there's no campfire to light. Maybe there's one down that side path over here we didn't take. What do we got? Move plus B to dash. Okay. Don't go running into nothing here. Soul of Deserted Corpse, okay. Another soul item. Good. So yeah, no no campfires. Which makes me a bit scared to go try to fight that thing, because I don't know necessarily where I'll respawn. Um, but why not? I'm brave, and by brave I mean cocky. Let's see what we can do. Um Ash and Eston Flask. I don't like can I inventory Restores FP. Okay. I don't know what FP is. Okay, FP is my mana. I don't know what it stands for. Like, I don't know what the F is. Um, but it's my mana, so I won't have to worry about that, being a warrior. So we're going to trudge through this deep water. 
Get our stamina back. Hopefully this guy won't hit us so hard that we... Do, that I'm not... I don't want to use an essence flask yet. I'd rather get hit once at least. Okay. Frost breath. Okay. Estes, okay. Okay, we're gonna take another Estes, honestly, so we're at full. Hoop, hoop. Oof. Alright, trying to block all this damage. Okay, watch out for the crystal shards, they'll be coming out of the ground. I guess I don't, know, I don't know if it's crystal or ice. I assume ice because it's blue, but that doesn't necessarily mean that. There are blue crystals as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Taking a hit. Taking a hit. Get that shield back up. Oh, biting at me. Step off, bruh. Oh, that's not even at me. I'm confused now. Alright. Step back. Let those crystals show up. Okay, took a hit. Flask, well I can. Oh, dodge the roll, oh. Okay, oop. Ooh, that dash was not fun for me. Okay, okay. Maybe I should start doing some strong attacks when I get the chance, see if it's better than two weak attacks. All right, then he does that. I don't know if that's actually better. That was 70 damage I saw. We'll have to do two lights and see. Uh, no, that's 112, so lights are the better move. Okay, get the stamina back, get the stamina back, let's see what we can do, let's see what we can do. And... Don't let those crystals get us. Oh, okay, just taking a straight up bite out of me. Rolling. Oh, not locked on, that was a problem, okay. He rolled way past me there, oh. Okay, blocked most of that, that's good. Ow. Oh, rolled on to me. Let's see what we can do by finishing it off. Is it dead? Yes! Got it! Look at that finishing move. Titan Knight Scale. Oh, that was dope. Now there's a lootable thing over there. See, that makes me feel good that I didn't die on that, that first try. Ooh, okay. Um, we got this loot. Soul of an Unknown Traveler. Give me some weird lag there, but that's no big deal. Uh, the, I mean, the monster dropped his loot already. That was the Titan, Titan Knight Scale. Um, so now we'll head on. Uh, we'll go through the front door. I assume there won't be a campfire too far from that. And, uh, we will... Right, we're basically going to end the first... We're going to end the video the first time we find a campfire. And or if we get to, like, the main hub, like if it worked in Dark Souls 2. Where the tutorial, Red Light 2, Red Light 2, uh, Majula. Okay, we got this. Change weapons, toggle items. Yeah, okay. Look at, look at that Everest there, that mountain. There's that company that I can't think of right now. That, like, the logo's the mountain. That's what it looked like. Okay, we got a big tower over there. Try to keep my eyes open for enemies sneaking up on me. And there's a bonfire. And I think there's enemies there. So, yeah, that's probably where we're going to end the video. That's cool looking. All right. Rest at bonfire restores HP and Estes supplies. All right. Light... Bonfire lit. We got an achievement for that. Rest at bonfire. Get our Estus, get our health back. Leave. Okay. And, um, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I know I'm having a lot of fun with this. I know we only got to play for, like, ten-ish minutes. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I know, uh, I'm having a ton of fun. Uh, I will be doing the series, like I said. Uh, I mean, it'll just be thrown in with everything else that I've been doing. Um... 
and hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, like don't obviously don't spoil things for me because I know there's plenty of info out there. But if you have any suggestions of maybe what you want to see, or like item weapons that are good or whatever, or maybe even just like tips for future bosses once I encounter them, you know, feel free to comment down below. And hopefully, uh, or I guess like and share the video if you enjoyed it because that's always helpful. Uh, word of mouth is a really useful thing for me. And I will see everyone tomorrow.